Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to another week of comprehension. This is Miss Allen, and I am excited to be here this week. What we are talking about this week to help us understand what we're reading is called cause and effect. Read it with me. Cause and effect. I have to admit to you, cause and effect is probably the trickiest comprehension strategy that we learn about in kindergarten. Even now that I've been practicing cause and effect for a super long time, I still get a little bit confused. So I just want you to be open-minded and just be ready to really try your best and to challenge your brain. I know you're ready for it. Cause and effect is a great way for us to understand what we're reading or looking at because it helps us to understand why things are happening in a story. So for example, if I tell you a story about Mrs. Hausladen, Mrs. Hausladen loves to go outside and she loves to play with her little puppy named Wrigley. So let's pretend like she goes outside one day. She's playing and having a good time. Wrigley is being a really good pup. It's a great day. And then all of a sudden, it starts to rain. That's the cause. The cause is the reason why something else happens. So it starts to rain on Mrs. Hausladen and Wrigley, but thank goodness Mrs. Hausladen has what? An umbrella. She has an umbrella at home that she's able to pull out so that her and Wrigley don't have to get so wet. The umbrella would be the effect. That's the result of what happened. So the cause, remember, is that it started to rain. And the effect, because it was raining, is that Mrs. Hausladen had to take out her umbrella. It can be a little tricky to understand, friends, but some words we can use that help us give that help us to understand when we are learning cause and effect are some are when we read or hear the words if then so so that since because as a result and do to so when you hear some of those words you know that you're dealing with cause and effect i'm still a little bit confused about this and i'm sure you are too so I found a song that really helps us to understand just a little bit more. I like this song a lot, and I hope you do too. Have those listening ears on. Cause and effect, cause and effect. First the cause, then the effect. The cause is what happens, the result is the effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you poke a balloon, the balloon will pop. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you step in a puddle, your shoes get wet. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you turn on the fan, you'll feel it. All around, cause and effect, cause and effect. If you turn on the light, the room will be bright. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you press the switch, you can communicate. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. First the cause, then the effect. The cause is what happens, the result is the effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Awesome. That was such a fun song, and it really did help me to better understand cause and effect. The cause is what happens, and the effect is the result, or something that happens because of the cause. Let's go ahead and take a peek at a couple of examples. First, our example is going to be, let's pretend like you have a garden at home. The cause is what happens. So what do you have to do to your garden to take care of it? You have to water your plants. If you water your plants, what's going to happen? They're going to grow and become nice and beautiful. So the cause is what happens. The cause is that we water our garden. And the effect is what happens because of the cause. So we are going to grow a big, beautiful garden if we water our plants. Cause and effect. Let's try a couple more. Let's pretend like these two friends brush their teeth 
twice a day for two minutes each time. They are so good about brushing their teeth and they also floss. They take great care of those chompers. The cause is that they take good care of their teeth. When they go to the dentist, what do you think the dentist is going to say? You have great teeth, great job. Do you think these friends are going to have any cavities? Probably not. So the cause is that these friends take good care of their teeth. The effect is that they have a great time at the dentist with no cavities. Cause and effect. The cause is what happens. The effect is the result. Let's try two more. Let's pretend like this friend over here has a big test coming up. Recently, some of our older grades tried the MCA test. I bet some of them had to study really hard, just like this friend here. Studying is when you read some books, when you review some of your work, so that you really understand what you've learned. Let's pretend like this friend has a really big test coming up and he studies really hard. He works really hard to grow his brain. That's the cause, it's what happened. Now what happened, because he studied so hard, he got an A plus. That means he did perfect. Great job, friend. So the cause is that he studied. The effect is that he got an A plus and did really, really awesome. Good job. The cause is what happens and the effect is the result. Awesome. Let's try one more using this poster. This poster is called Out It Came. Now, the cause is what happens and the result or the effect is the result. So if you take a peek at this bottom picture here, what does it look like this little birdie is doing? Oh, it looks like he's trying to pull this worm out of the ground. I bet he's probably a little hungry. So the cause is that this birdie is rumbly tumbly. He's super hungry. He finds this worm. And what does he do? What is the cause? What's he doing to this worm? He's pulling. He is really yanking that worm out. And I remember from Miss Ronigan teaching us worms that worms like to crawl around using all of their different segments to get away from predators like the bird. So that worm I know is working hard to go into the dirt, but the bird is working hard to pull him out. The bird's going to pull, 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 pull. That's the cause. Is the cause is the bird pulling the worm. And what's the effect? What happens because that bird pulled so hard? Doink! That worm popped right out of the ground, and now the bird is happy because she gets to eat. So the cause is that the bird is hungry, finds the worm, pulls him out, and the effect is that the bird got to take the worm out and enjoy a nice, delicious lunch. Cause is what happens, and the effect is the result. What happens next? I know it can be a little bit tricky, friends, but... We're going to keep working on it the rest of the week. I hope it starts to make a little bit more sense tomorrow when we go over even more posters. Just to finish things off, I think it would be fun to listen to our cause and effect song one last time. So be sure if you remember the words to go ahead and sing along. Cause and effect, cause and effect. First the cause, then the effect. The cause is what happens, the result is the effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you poke a balloon, the balloon will pop. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you step in a puddle, your shoes get wet. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you turn on the fan, you'll feel it all around. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you turn on the light, the room will be bright. Cause and effect, cause and effect. If you press the switch, you can communicate. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. First the cause, then the effect. The cause is what happens, the result is the effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Cause and effect. Cause and effect.